Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 61-year-old priest visiting from Mexico. He complained of a papal abnormality in the back of his arm. This is the humerus coming down. You can see the elbow here, and we see this really hyperintense, sharply defined mass behind the humerus right where he's palpating. He had a history of a prior tumor that was removed from his elbow region, and he had a picture of it, a gross specimen. It was about the exact same size and look to it, and he said it was a benign neural tumor. And this looks like the same thing. It looks like another probable schwannoma. So this has a typical signal intensity characteristics, uh, characteristics of a benign neural tumor, like a schwannoma. It has sharply defined margins and just really prominent hyperintensity on the STIR or T2 weighted sequences here. And in the central portion, you can see this really subtle gray signal, really characteristic. So if you see a sharply defined lesion, super bright on T2-weighted sequences, with a gray signal centrally, just a classic example of a neural tumor. And this is along the course of the radial nerve, which comes down along the back of the humerus, and then it starts to wrap along the radial aspect down distally. Now I'll put up an axial image to show the same thing. This is a T1-weighted sequence, and this is the lesion right here. It looks just... Uh, ISO is intense to the surrounding muscle, so really can't see it very well at all. But on the T2-weighted sequence, we can see it really well. And again, you see the sharply defined margins and that kind of foggy gray signal in the middle that is really typical for a schwannoma. Now, this patient has had two now, one in the elbow and now this other one here. So when you see one, it's probably just sporadic. Most of them are sporadic, 90%, I think. Uh, but if you see more than one like this, they may have neurofibromatosis uh, 2. They can have multiple schwannomas. So that's it. Thank you very much.